Alright guys, welcome to another video from Maths World Education and in today's video I'd like to talk to you about algebraic fractions, what these algebraic fractions are and how we can go about simplifying and even solving algebraic fractions, turn them into equations and solve them for x. So let's get started. So all, first of all, let's, uh, let's just go straight to basics first. All a fraction essentially is, is nothing more than a ratio between a numerator and a denominator. Okay, so let's look at uh, any fraction really, uh, just to make things straightforward. Let's consider the number 2 on 5. First of all, what do we know about this value, 2 on 5? Well, again, it's you can't really simplify this fraction anymore. But let's suppose we do something like this. Let's suppose we uh, add 2 over 5 to 1 over 3. Now, and then someone's a and then the examiner is asking you to actually simplify that fraction. How do you actually do that? Well, the first thing you need to do is to get a common denominator. And the best way to do a common denominator is by taking... So in this case, we've got 2 over 5 here. Best thing to do is to take this value here from the other fraction, take the denominator from the other, other fraction and times a 3 uh, here. And because we times him by the bottom, we've also got a times a 3 at the top. So now we've got a 3 times 5 here on the denominator. But what we can do to make this denominator the same on this other fraction is to times by this value here and times by 5. And that means that we times him by 5 up here as a result. So what are we left with? Well, well I'm going to put in a pause. So that is going to equal 3 times 2, which is 6. And again, we can actually make a common denominator now because it's exactly the same. So we've got 2 times 3, which is 6, plus 1 times 5, which is 5. 6 plus 5, which is equal to 11, divided by 3 times 5, which is 15. So let's move on. Uh, in, in this case, how would it work if we... If this time we're actually dealing with letters, okay, so we're dealing with the letter X because that's what's more likely to be included in an exam. So you may instead have something like this. You may be asked to simplify 2 over X plus 5 plus 1 over X. So how do we go about simplifying this? So what we need again is a common denominator. So we've got this X plus 5 here. And we've got an x here, so we can take this x and we can make we can make we can times this by x, but then we've got to times the same value on the numerator by x because if you think about it, if these x x's cancel out, you're back to where you started, which is exactly what we want anyway. And again, we're taking this fraction here, x plus five, and then that means that we times in the numerator by x plus 5. So now what we can do, we can say that that's the same as 2 divided by x, x plus 5, plus 1 times x plus 5, which is simply x plus 5, divided by, again, x, x plus 5. And you can see actually on this equation that you've got a uh, common denominator, so we can so now we can go x, bracket x plus 5, and we can see that we've got 2 plus x plus 5. So all in all, we end, we end up with 2 plus 5, which is 7. Hang on, I've made a mistake there. Sorry about that. So that should, this should say 2x which means this should say 2x here. So now we've got 3x plus 5 divided by x brackets x plus 5. And that is actually our final answer. We can't simplify, we can't simplify that equation anymore. Let's move on to another example. Now, let's suppose that this time we're asked to simplify something like this. 
six x minus one, but this time minus one divided by x plus five. What are we gonna do? So what you wanna do is again, do a uh, common com denominator, take this denominator and times by x plus five. And then of course that means that there must be an x plus five on the um, numerator. And again, you're taking this x minus one, so you can times by x minus one. And again, we can times the top by x minus one. So what we're left with now is the following six x plus five. And we can actually do a common denominator as well. So we've got x plus five x minus 1. So at the top on the first term, we've got 6 brackets x plus 5. Now, we've got this minus, so we put minus here, then we've got 1, x minus 1. And there's a reason why I've, uh, I've stuck with this 1 here as well, and I've not and I've done, not just omitted that, because I've done that because uh, if you look at this, uh, if you look at this term here, and you've got the minus 1, well that minus 1 is going to become plus 1 once it gets times by minus 1, and I'll show you why in a second. So again, let's uh, stick with the common denominator. 6x, and then plus uh, 6 times 5, which is 30. Now, that's minus one brackets x minus one. So that means by multiplying out the brackets, we will get a minus x. Minus one times minus one is actually plus one. So we can simplify this further. We can say that six x minus x, gathering all the x's, we end up with a um, we end up with five x here plus thirty plus one, which is plus thirty one. divided by x plus 5, x minus 1. And once again, we can't simplify that equation anymore. Now, in the next part of this video, I'm going to show you something that's a little bit different. You may be asked, rather than simplifying, uh, rather than simplifying an expression, which is, what, which is what we've just done the last uh, three cases, uh, that we may be asked to solve an equation. So in an exam question, you may be asked to solve x for the following. 12 over x plus 2. All right, guys, sorry about that. There was a, an important phone call then. So uh, we're going back to this equation then. So we're solving for x for 12 over x plus 2 and then minus 12 over x plus 3 equals 1. So there's two steps here that we need to do. The first step we need to do is to simplify. Second step then is to solve for x. So in the same way as what we've been doing before, uh, what we want to do is get a denomin common denominator. So we're looking at this term here, and we're going to times by the other term to get the common denominator. So that's going to be x plus 2. And then the same way, because we times in the denominator by x plus 2, we want to times the numerator by x plus 2. And then we're doing exactly the same on this term here. So we're taking this value here, x plus 3. And then course we make sure we're doing the same with the numerator. The reason why I'm writing this in red as well is just so uh, you guys don't get confused with uh, the original equation uh, in question. Okay. So let's uh, simplify the left hand side of this equation. So first of all we've got we, we now have a common denominator of x plus 3 over 
x plus 2. And at the top we've got 12 brackets x plus 3 minus 12 brackets x plus 2 equals 1. So the next thing that we need to do now is to multiply out the brackets on the numerator of this, uh, of this equation. So we've got 12x plus 3 times 12, which is 36, minus 12x. So already you can see this is looking very convenient. Uh, minus 12 times 2, which is minus 24. And again, that's divided by x plus 3 x plus 2. So we can see here that the 12 x's actually cancel out and can't forget to write equals 1 there. So 36 minus 24 is 12. So we've got 12 on x plus 3 x plus 2 equals 1. Now uh, what do we do next? Well what we can do is we can times the we can times both sides of this equation by x plus 3, x plus 2. And I'll show you show you how this works. Because normally when we solve in a uh, normally when we solve in an equation of any any sort really, if you've ever got x terms or anything at the bottom, you always want to make sure that they are on the top and they're on their own, or you've got them clustered in such a way that they're in one place. Okay? So so what are we going to do next? So we're going to times the right hand side by x plus 3, x plus 2. But then of course we times in the left hand side by x plus 3, x plus 2. And we can see that as a result all those terms are going to cancel out. And you're going to be left with the following. 12 equals 1 times x plus 3 brackets x plus 2, which is simply x plus 3, x plus 2. Now, best thing to do with this is to multiply out the brackets. So we've got x squared plus 3x plus 2x, which is plus 5x plus 2 times 3, which is 6. Now what we can do, we can actually bring this 12 over to the to the other side so we're actually subtracting 12 from both sides so 12 minus 12 which is 0 is going to be equal to x squared plus 5x plus 6 minus 12 which is minus 6 now we can factorize this equation now now what have we got we've got what two numbers can times together to make 6? We've got 1 and 6, and we've got 2 and 3. Now, because of this plus 5x here, uh, I think the best thing to do is to do 1 and 6. And you've got a plus 5x, so uh, altogether you've got, that's what you need. But it's a minus 6, so one of these terms has to be a plus, and the other one has to be negative. So uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go with x minus 1, and x plus 6 minus 1 times plus 6 equals minus 6 minus x plus 6x is plus 5x. Finally, we've got our equation, x equals 1, uh, well, our results say, x equals 1, x equals minus 6. So that concludes uh, the video, and I hope, hope all that makes sense, guys, uh, regarding uh, algebraic uh, fractions. There is, a lot, there is a lot of information to take in there, so if uh, any, any of you at all have any questions, be sure to comment in the, the comment section below and I will do my best to get back to you regarding any questions that you've got, any burning issues as well that you've got uh, regarding anything really that you can't find anywhere else on YouTube, give me a shout and I'll uh, do my best to come out with a video for you. If you like this video, smash that like button, subscribe, tap that notification bell and I shall see you in the next video. Thank you very much.